Good morning, everyone. So welcome to how to get clients from the internet. Now, the biggest reason why this is the name of this event is because we use tutorials in impressing clients online. And if you don't know how that works, we will explain to you today. Our guest tonight is Juliet Casting, and she's going to tell you, actually show you, how it all works. Bakit, bakit ano, bakit um, ang tutorial na tinatawag natin is the one big reason why clients contact you and offer you good rates, at least if they can. Now, hindi naman lahat ng kliyente kaya mag-offer ng good rates, but if you were, if you have the, you know, you're being contacted by a client who can afford good rates, then they will give it to you. Kasi nga, uh, it's impressive. Okay, docs? So are you le ready to learn today? So let me just uh, introduce myself a little bit before we proceed to today's webinar. This is uh, a how-to guide that I made in 2015. Yeah, 2015, December, on how to start a virtual career. And in it, there are instructions on how to make a, a website that contains tutorials. And the, the word that you're looking for is assignment. Everybody, can you type the word assignment? That means it's something you have to do to impress clients. Now, a lot of people, after they attend any one of my events, live or online, they're gonna say, even the book, no, after reading the book, because they're gonna say, nila, you know, by assignment, ang hirap naman ng assignment, and stuff like that. And therein lies confusion, kasi yung mga tao, anong assignment? Ba't ba may assignment? Ganun, ganun. And, and the assignment actually, the bulk of the assignment is to create a tutorial. So today we're gonna find out ano ba yung tutorial na yan, which is the bulk of the assignment. You're gonna be spending your weeks or months creating tutorials. The entire package is create tutorials, update your resume, apply in Upwork, for example, or talk to clients in Facebook. So yun yung, if you contain all of that in one place, it's called the assignment. A lot of people just want to go straight into apply in Upwork. Can you tell me what happens if all you did was, okay, I read the book for four years and I applied for work on it. What happens? What do you think happens? So mga taong tamad, they just really just want to go straight into applying. So what happens to them? So answer in the chat room, whatever you think is the answer to that question. Okay. So I've been teaching this stuff, this virtual careers for many, many, many years now. Um, this is my recent talk sa Financial Literacy, Literacy, Literacy Summit. So I, I do this on stage. I also do rare workshops. There's one coming up this coming March 13. That's um, on video marketing. And the basic one, the workshop on how to start your virtual careers is happening on May 20. So... So, mga nagsisimula at gusto malaman ko ng taong gawin, make sure you attend the May 20. And just want to give a shout out to those who attend tonight's webinar. Thank you so much for being here. It's an honor to serve you today. Okay? And tama si Ann, if there's no preparation, there's going to be, get you're going to get a lot of rejections and you will give up easily. April said, it's, you're not going to be hired. That's correct. Ryan said it's going to be failure. John says there's no result. Adrian is right. Those of people just go straight into applying. Because they don't want to 
prepare. So that's why we gonna concentrate on the tutorial, okay? So because the tutorial helps you see what the client sees. Now, we don't really think that a tutorial is useful. Actually, that's what people say in their brains, especially if, if we're a first timer. Can you tell us if you're a first timer? Well, first timer, Sabi, I'm a first timer. And Sabihin mo, ah, ano ni? Para saan ba yan? Tagal ng oras para gawin yan. Okay, so that's really true. No, there's a lot of hours to be consumed in creating the tutorial. And let me just start by welcoming uh, Juliet Kasim, who's going to explain all about these tutorial things and also give you her story. Is that good? Juliet, can, you, can I have you online now? Hello. Hello. Hello, Po. Hello, Juliet. Yes. Hello, uh, Po. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Ah, it's so, yeah. Ito yung lag. <laughs> May lag siya. Okay. Good evening, Po. Good Hello, evening sa lahat. Hello, nasa Juliet. Nasa Quezon City po ako ngayon. So, um, are you single, married? Um, anong trabaho mo? Generally, yun muna. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, single po. I'm working as a virtual professional, um, fully uh -huh. online ang trabaho ko, and I don't just work from home, I work anywhere. <laughs> I work anywhere. <laughs> so, an anong trabaho mo before, kung nag-work ka sa corporate or sa government? Uh, the, ang last ko na trabaho was, um, I, I was an OFW sa Dubai for more than two years, and then... Um, may nangyaring hindi maganda and then umuwi ako dito sa Pilipinas for good last October 2016. Mm -hmm. And then since na umuwi naman ako or from the airport of Dubai, uh, I was hired for a full-time na trabaho online. Ayan. Wow. So ready ka na mag-share sa kanila um, ah. the story. Ah, yes, yes, po. Oh, sige. Everybody, please welcome Juliet Kasin. Please be nice to her. May nangyari hindi maganda sa kanya sa so Dubai. <laughs> okay, mag-share screen na po ako. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. um, hi, everyone. Welcome po um, for tonight's webinar about how you can make your tutorials. Um, first of all, I would like to introduce myself. Um, I am Juliet Kassing, um, an ex-OFW as I mentioned earlier. It's been seven months since umuwi ako dito sa Pinas for good. Wala na po akong balak na bumalik para magtrabaho abroad. Also for seven months, I am working as a virtual assistant um, patient of, of two companies. So I work fully online and I'm saying I don't just work from home, I work anywhere. <laughs> Magala po ako. Ayan. So I am a, my home place is I'm from Bohol. Um I mentioned being an OFW. So if you if any of you here is an OFW or someone who is still working in a corporate job. You might be interested in the inspiring story I shared last December too. Um, like this with Sir Jomar. Um, it was about an OFW story. How losing a job turned out to be a blessing. Ayan ko. And then, since October 2016, I am working, I mentioned I'm working as a full-time virtual professional and this is how my life looks like now i spend a lot of time with my family um 
Though I cannot sell sa amin sa Bohol kasi mahina yung internet connection sa amin. But till every two months or depende, every hour sa amin. Ayan, so this family's family po photos na pinakita ko sa inyo, this are first time of the history of the family. Kasi matagal ang mother ko nagtrabaho sa abroad. And then very, very rare lang siyang nakaka-uwi sa amin before. And then nung finally umuwi na siya sa amin, ako naman yung nag-take ng responsibility to like for the finances of the man yung nag-abroad. So para bubuo namin. And then ngayon that I work from anywhere, um, we have lots and lots of moments together, katulad nito. Another thing is that I'm right now, I'm here in the ups and the downs of the family. I just want to share um, a few weeks ago, my father had an accident. Um, I was really, really blessed to be with him. We rushed him to the hospital. And then throughout his recovery, I was there. hospital. And I am able to do this because I don't have a boss. Full control of my time. And so that's, that's my family. This is the other thing I love. I enjoyed a lot for seven months yung pagta-travel kahit saan. During weekdays ko to ginagawa yung pagta-travel ko kasi hindi masyadong crowded yung mga tourist destination. So I've been to Boracay, sa Ilocos, tapos sa Puerto Galera, ganyan. Tapos nag-sinulog, nag-attend ng sinulog festival sa Cebu. Tapos gumagala sa many parts ng ng Bohol. Right now, um, I have two clients. Meron akong isang one full-time client, which I've been working with her since I started my virtual career last October 2016. Bale, seven months na kami, and I should say we're getting stronger. <laughs> Parang relasyon lang, ganon. And then I also have one part-time client, so I'm working with him few hours a month. Uh, managing his social media accounts and then aside from that I also is taking care of his projects so I am the one who is providing content sa kanyang ebooks meron siyang video presentation tapos yung other publication niya so ako yung nagbibigay ng contents para ilagay doon and right now what Emails in and email marketing. So, nag-niche na po ako ngayon. Ayaw ko nang maging general virtual assistant na. And so, yun yung direction na gusto kong, gusto kong ngayon. So, and aside from that, I'm also writing my own book. Pangarap pa si talagang magkaroon ng sariling, yung mag-publish ng sariling libro. So, pag may time ako, yun yung ginagawa ko. Nagsusulat ako ng aking sariling libro. And then, let me start sa akin sharing with a beautiful yet often overused and a quote. Luck is what happens, creation meets opportunity. So if you availed to any of Sir Jomar's course, as he mentioned before, you would know na lahat ng courses niya may assignments. Ako, I availed his Date with Freedom 2015 downloadable course last April 2016. And dun sa course, ang pinaka-challenging sa akin is yung assignment ng paggawa ng 10 tutorials ng tools or apps. So mga hindi familiar kung ano yung mga tools or apps na ito, um, isa sa tu example nito, Ito yung ginagamit natin ngayon, which is we are using it for video conferencing. O kaya ang equivalent niya naman ay Zoom. Ginagamit din siyang pa parang virtual meeting room. O kaya naman kung sa social media management, yung Hootsuite, kung narinig niyo na yun. Yan. Ito yung mga tools na ginagamit ni client at saka ginagamit ng VA dun sa kanilang everyday na ginagawa. Ayan. So back to my assignment sa Date with Freedom, after kong nagawa yung 10 tutorials, ginawa ko talaga siya kahit mahirap, 
Tapos meron akong 120 slides each tutorial. Yung next assignment naman nun ay yung gumawa ng website. Tapos iload, ilalagay mo dun sa website mo yung tutorials na ginawa mo. Ayan. So hindi, for me talaga, yung experience, hindi siya madali. It would take patience, tapos lots of research, tapos kay, kasi learning takes time. So hindi lang kasi ginagawa yung tutorial, kailangan mo siyang aralin para may maituro ka. Ganun. And then, pero maganda naman yung kinahihinat na nung efforts ko sa pag-comply noong assignments. Ayan. So, I just, first, I just want to share a tip on how to select your tutorials para sa mga hindi, hindi pa gumagawa ng tutorials, pero gawin nyo na yung tutorials nyo, no? Um, it would help na you will select one tool per category. Um, what I mean is that yung sa akin, for example, category on social media management. Um, several examples are pwedeng Hootsuite, Buffer, or kaya IFTTT, or if this, then that. Ito yung mga pwede mong gamitin na social media automation. So, ang tip ko, kung meron ka ng Hootsuite, huwag ka na sanang gagawa ng other tutorials, tutorial for Buffer. Kumuha ka na naman dun sa ibang kategory. For example, sa project management ka naman na kukuha. Pwede kang pumili ng isa sa either Asana o kaya Trello or Basecamp. Para varied yung matutunan mo. Meron kang alam sa project management. Meron kang alam sa social media automation. Ayun. So, very, very, very helpful siya in the future. Na marami kang alam na tools or apps din. And out of the 10 tutorials I created, yung naging favorite ko doon is on how to use Asana. And it's not because it has beautiful presentation of text or kaya images kasi hindi naman. Um, but because I find it very, very helpful yung tool na ito. A lot of clients use Asana. Sa mga na-encounter ko, pati yun sa mga ina-applyan ko, ginagamit nilang requirement, nilalagay nila sa requirements na alam mo yung asana gamitin, ganyan. And it's also free, kaya itong asana, ginagamit ko din siya for my personal project, ganyan. And also, kung alam mo na kasi yung isang project management software, for example, itong asana, all other project management softwares, like say Trello or Basecamp, they, they work the same. Ang bilis na lang niyang aralin. Magka magkaiba lang sila ng appearance or format, but they're basically the same. Ayan. And then, this is the workspace of, of once you log in, gumawa ka ng sign up ka sa Asana, uh, mag-log in ka doon sa, ganito yung makispace. So, pwede kang gumawa ng project. Dito, uka ng project. Sa akin, ito ay make, create, make 10 tutorials. And then, from that project na make 10 tutorials, you can create task dito sa my middle. So, in my case, yung task ko doon sa make 10 tutorials ay yung 10 tutorials na ginawa ko. So, how to make Asana, how to use Asana, how to use, ano ba yun? Put sweat, ganun. So, hanggang 10, yun yung nagiging task na, na nilagay ko dito. And then, moving to the right, dito sa task details, um, dito mo naman i ilalagay yung mga details per task na meron ka dito sa, sa middle. So, for example, how to use, ang task ko is how to use Asana. Ang subtask ko dito, and then which you might want to take note, kasi baka makatulong sa inyo sa paggawa nyo, para mapabilis yung paggawa nyo ng tutorial ay, una, research about the topic. Yun yung pinakauna kong um, subtask dito sa how to use Asana. And then second thing, I create sections. 
So, ang section ng how to use Asana ay first, how to sign up. Tapos, how to create the first project. Kaya, how to create tasks. How to add details. Until, umabot ako doon sa how to sign out your account. So, yun yung mga sections ko. Yun yung second dito. And the third thing, I worked on the tool na. So, everything I do with the tool, every click that I do, I took a screenshot. And then, I copy them all, yung image, to a Word document. And then, that is my draft. Um, ito yung mistake ko before, na hindi ko siya ginawa sa Microsoft Word. Diniretso ko siya sa PowerPoint. And then, puro ako edit, puro ako edit, kaya hindi ako matapos sa, sa contents pa lang. Ayan, so I, I advise and I tested it na gawin nyo siya sa sa MS Word muna. I-add yung put yourself and your mind on draft mode. And then, I, another thing is, while on draft mode and while um, copying all the images, I, I was adding few words describing the picture or the image para hindi ko makalimutan yung ginawa kong steps. Ayan. At wag masyadong critical. <laughs> wag masyadong magpaka-perfect kasi draft pa lang yun. And then the last step sa ginawa ko was that I transferred them one time sa PowerPoint presentation. And then doon naman, nag-shift yung mind ko to editing. Doon, doon ka nagagawa ng beautification. The important thing is that meron ka ng contents lahat na ilalagay mo doon. So, mag-twist-twist ka na lang nung, nung kung ano siya. Ayan. So, Asana also has a calendar um, where you can see an overview of how your month goes. Makikita mo dito kung na-distribute ba ng maayos yung task mo or anong mga days or weeks na masyado kang loaded and then you can move tasks around. Ayan. Saan umabot? Ito yung tanong ko eh. Saan umabot ang pagiging masunurin ko of the assignments that I complied? How having tutorials and an online get me client? Let me share a message from a client where I, I say an ordinary client before he became my valued client. Ayan. Sa Upwork po ito na message. So sa mga hindi Upwork, sa mga newbie dito, it, ang Upwork ay isang online, it's a job site where yung mga client, then they sign up, sila ng mga ha Hiring. And then, they can also look for freelancers. The other hand naman, tayo as freelancers, we sign up sa Upwork. And then, we create an impressive profile. So we look for available jobs doon. And then, eventually, we... So, unang match ni client sa akin. March 1, 2017, sabi niya. This is a how to that I can add to my ebook. I would need to talk with you before starting on. Ganyan. Ganito lang taas na message. Ganito lang ka broad yung unang message niya. Tapos nag-fund na siya agad kay Upwork the moment na nag-send siya sa akin ng message. Tapos ang nangyari, inignore ko yung message ni client. Kasi hindi ko type yung communication niya. <laughs> hindi ko type yung message niya. Kasi ayaw ko nung client na parang napakado. Gusto ko yung client na clients. Gusto ko ganito, gusto ko tumultip, ganyan. Kaya ang ginawa ko, nung, yung message niya ng March 1 ay inignore ko. Tapos, nung March 4, nag-message na naman siya ulit. Itong nasa baba, sabi niya, Hi, Jundering, if you are interested in my project. Hi, thanks. Ganyan. Tapos, hindi pa rin ako nag-reply. Noong March 6, nakonsensya na ako. Tapos sabi ko, sige na, mag-reply mag na lang ako kay client. Sabihin ko sa kanya, listed talaga dun sa project niya. Kasi hinahanap niya sa freelancer ay marunong sa Google AdWords. 
Ngayon, hindi naman ako, maru- hindi naman ako nag-aaral. Kaya sabi ko sa kanya ganito. But Google AdWords skill set. Hope you will find match soon. Tapos, Ben. And then, agad, ang sabi niya, vacation ako, kaya, ayun, I hope you hunt. Tapos, ang sabi niya, I think, read my message, but I, but I am not requesting this. Ito yung gusto kong i-highlight. Requesting a how to book the ones you have on your website. Ayan lang pala niya, ay yung nakatulad nung pinaghirapan kong eat with freedom. Natawa. Sabi ko, ayon ah, lang pala ang gusto mo. Kami, tapos we agreed on terms, started the relationship. So basically, I would say, without applying. Just the tutorials and my online for speaking for me and speaking for, for them. This is what I call plus opportunity. Thing happened dun sa uh, una kong client, si first thing. Kanya sinabi sa akin agad, but when we relationship already, sa kanya sinabi kung bakit niya ako hinar. Sinali kasi, nung nag-post siya sa EH naman, ang VA, to handle her admin tasks. Ako, tapos nalaman ko, qualified for interview yung sa... Tapos, hindi ako natanggap VA for admin. Tapos, anong nangyari? Basta naisip na lang yan, magiging helpful ako sa kamp. So, what she does, she created created a new position. So, gumawa siya ng, ng VA for communication na yung sa, ad, sa admin. So, ginawa para mag to handle the community sa company. Parang sobrang saya lang kasi that was the moment na nawalan ako ng job sa I was at the airport. Yun na yung akin. I'm hired you not as a yung sa but in the communication say na I would have missed have having this opportunity itong dalawa as clients in the world world for me kung wala akin kung wala yung uh, aking online port yan so the, yun yung main labor. And so, um, with, with, sorry, seven months of experience working um, as a virtual professional, I share two uh, um, na natutunan ko doon sa seven months ng aking online career. Tagalog pala. Ayan. So first, find a mentor leading. Si Mitch Miller um, said that we and empire or plug ourselves look up to or someone will help us to achieve our goals. Like me and like Kinigdito, we plug ourselves to Sir Jomar because first, Following him will surely take us to our dreams of thriving, hindi lang siya merely surviving online career. And I would like to encourage everyone here to ask instructions by heart. Do the, kasi una-una kinuha naman natin yung, yung course pa, para tayo matuto. To his leading. Ayun. And the second tip, you can select the client that will hire you. So at least for now, starting. But you can always select the client to stick with. 
And kasi malaking bagay yung okay yung attitude doon sa pagiging masaya mo sa sa world career. And I would like tips or four qualities which I believe a good client should have. Client should respect you. She should not bend the values that you have. He or she appreciate and give credit where if it's for you, it's for you. And then someone who should be for price or price all the time. Before I go, I want to leave two quotes. First, your choices revokes, not your fear. In my case, my fear for buying Sir Jomar's course were enough budget, baka kaya, baka wala akong pag-aralan yung left Stones, kasi corporate job sa Dubai. Hindi ako ay hire ng client. Teki at magaling. Yun yung mga fear. But what I did was uh, mentioned So I saved money to I reduced sleeping. Mag-aral lang ako. I asked Paul for help. I invested some more course. And then and I own critical self na hindi ako, ako hireable. Yeah. Your choices are life. Choose wisely. Because of those difficult choices, I am now living, working as an OFW in Dubai. And I'm with my family when and as much as I want to. And back to that accident with my father, um, ito yung pinakamaliki kong realization na dapat talaga pala maging super super thankful ako kung yung sa career na meron ako ngayon sa lahat ng freedom na inibigay dito sa akin and at the same time I should pray more para sa businesses ng aking clients kasi their happiness is my happiness as well Ganyan. so it's a beautiful life Thank you. Yun lang po ang sharing ko. Hey, Juliet. Thank you very much yes. for sharing. Pero yung ah, yes iba, kita yung slides mo, yung iba hindi. Can you try to show them again? Ano po yun, sir? Yung? Yung slides mo, yung iba nakikita, yung iba hindi. So, Hala. i-present mo nga ulit. Ah, yes po. Bali, i-run down ko lang yung slides? Hindi, kahit pakitaan mo lang po isa. Okay. We just um, want them to see your last slide man lang. Last slide, okay. Hey guys, can you see this one? It's uh, your choices. Determine your life. Can I show you some tutorials, guys? So those first timer, di pa nakakakita ng tutorial. Baka, meron ka ba dyang tutorial pwede mong pakita sa kanila? Before we go move there, I just want to show you a website. Um, can you just type this in your browser, vaseminar.com? And in that website, uh, I put in my old, old, old students' um, feedback, their faces, and all that stuff. You might want to take a peek at that massive, massive website. It's really old. But even though it's old, it's really very valuable. Especially those looking for proof of who are the people that trained ko na in the past. The VA seminar contains handwritten, everybody type the word, handwritten testimonials by my students. Uh, these are the first five years of, of teaching virtual careers. So you see their faith, you see their names, you see their handwritings. It's all with, you know, all with permission. Okay, from the person who, who wrote it, no? Irma, ganyan. So, siya nakataputan. This, I don't know how old this list is, pero you will be able to see some of your fans, uh, some of your favorite virtual professionals here. Uh, yan. Dito sa VA seminar. 
handwritten. Ano pinagsusulat niya tungkol sa, ano, tungkol sa virtual career seminar ko. Dati pa, ano trabaho nila, ano ginagawa nila. It's really, really vintage stuff. I actually have tons of this, pero hindi naka-upload sa internet. Ito, lang, ito pa lang ina-upload ko sa internet ng mga testimonials. Um, just to show you na, ano, marami na talagang nag-benefit dito sa event na to. And this is the event that I actually uh, explain to people paano gawin yung virtual careers na tutorial. Di ba? It's the tutorial. And, and of course, not just that. Okay? Not just the tutorial. But everything that prepares you to command a higher price. Kumbaga as a virtual professional, and gano. Ang dami kasi nagtuturo, and I really watch them, no? because that's what you do, no? you watch people. Um, nagtuturo sila, you know, yung issues on Upwork, yung issues on how do you accept payment. My focus is not all those small things. My focus in making you believe. Can you just type this in? Believe that you are worth more. That's my focus, that you believe that you are worth more. Because nagsimula din ako sa gano'n na ang, ang belief ko, hanggang doon na lang ako. Mataas ang sweldo ko noon eh. Maabot ako ng 2 million pesos a year as an employee. Diba mataas yun? Pero, belief ko hanggang doon na lang ako. Feeling ko hanggang doon, yun na lang yung pwede kong kitain. Mataas na yun. Diba? Noon, noon. Feeling ko mataas na yun. 2 million pesos. Pero wala namang natitira doon eh kasi nagpapakaya ako ng pamilya. Yung pinanggalingan kong pamilya. Single pa ako nun. So, majority of that napupunta sa probinsya. So, walang savings. So, my belief was really low. So, mapas, kung galing ka sa pinanggalingan ko, taas ng sweldo, walang naiiwan, baba ng patingin sa sarili. So, kahit na ba pumasok ka sa Upwork, na alam mo kung ano yung tamang ways of paying on, getting paid online, kung baba-baba naman ang tingin mo sa sarili mo, there's no point you're just going to agree to a lower rate. Which is very, very sad. Kasi nga, hindi mo naman, hindi ka naman mababayaran ng dapat mong ibayad sa'yo. Which is, gusto ko ma, ma-achieve ninyo, no? yung mataas na rate. Because the clients, there are many clients out there willing to pay higher rates. You just need to attract them by becoming a different person. Ngayon, is Juliet here? I don't know if she can answer your questions kasi I don't know if she's here. So I can't see the viewers, so you'll have to bear with me. So thank you very much, all 20 plus of you, to shift from the shift from the webinar jam to this website. I just want to tell you all about these two things that's going to happen in the coming days. Uh, and the first one being the, I know, the, issue that sabi nila, thank you Tina for writing that you are worth more because yun naman yung gusto kong ma-realize ng people that we are, you, are got, you guys are worth more. Now, there is an issue that I want to address. Who here believes na para magawa mo yung tutorial, you have to be a nun, you have to be a techie person. Kailangan, marami kang alam sa internet. Di ba? Ano naman? Um, Tess, hindi ko alam kung dito si Juliet, ha? Kasi, ay, ano eh, walang, walang details sa akin kung ano yung, how many who are the viewers. So, I don't know if he can answer your question. She's not in the chat room, so, yun sa webinar dyan, kung nandun siya. Tinatanong ni Zeni kung ano daw binili mo. Ano, tutorials. And tinanong ko sa kanya sa webinar jam. Anyway, what is your test? Anyway, so I created this brand new thing called how to create, how to how you can be a techie in a webinar series. You can transform yourself from a non-techie to a techie in a matter of a few weeks. And this is to address what everybody's saying in the comments na, Hindi man ako techie, pa, paano ko gagawin yan? Hindi man ako techie eh. Hindi ko naiintindihan yan. Alam, ang alam ko lang cellphone. Ang alam ko lang sa cellphone is tumawag. Alam mo yung ganun? Now, if ang alam mo lang talaga sa cellphone tumawag, hindi na ka tamatutulungan. Kasi dapat at least 
marunong kang mag Facebook sa cellphone. Alam mo yon? You, you understand the concepts of okay, you log in, what's a password, you know? Kasi kung hindi ka naman sanay sa password, hindi kita matutulungan diyan. Wala kang email account, hindi kita matuturuan maggawa ng email. Masyadong basic. Pero what I can do is help a person who feels intimidated by the internet with this course, How You Can Be a Techie. And this is a series happening, actually it's gonna happen in a few days, on May 11, and May 25, and June 8, okay? And this series of webinars, around one and a half hours each, will guide you through different concepts of how to approach the internet so you can be a techie, okay? And there's already a interview by a non-techie from last week, si Jinka Tolentina. You might want to go there and watch this webinar. But what are you going to learn from this? Well, if you are like me, you downloaded a bunch of ebooks with overflowing technicality, which you thought come from outer space. You try to comprehend what it's all about, and you end up getting a massive headache. Now, here's your chance to finally understand them all. Attend this webinar series so you face the internet with more courage, knowing the right things to do, so all the shortcuts to do your work faster. Plus, you'll know where to go when Google can help you and you badly need the information now. You'll know how to increase the power of your standard lonely browser into doing your bidding for you. You learn shortcuts that will make you say, why did I do that manually before? Or there's such an easy way to do it. You master the powerful tools, tools that every online citizen must know, but don't. Kawama naman sila, napapakahirap because they don't know how to use these tools to the mass. To learn a simple method of becoming an expert in any field you wish. Online, so that people will pay you more for your expertise as a VA or an online seller. You learn the secret to being organized when doing internet business. You understand internet code to decrease your stress level when you see it because a certain times in your life, you will be seeing internet code. Ganun talaga eh. You learn how to configure your desktop, your workspace, so everything works for you and not against you. You learn what to ignore in the confusing mass of information in the internet. You will learn what to pay attention to. You, you see those acronyms you encounter online, you'll know how to use them for your benefit. You want, you'll want to understand how the internet works, but you don't know all about the history of the internet, who's the inventor of the internet, what is the typology, things that make you yawn. You want to skip the nice to know part, nice to know parts like why was the internet designed, what is Netscape, what is packet switching. You want to skip to the parts that you can actually use every day so that you can be more efficient in using the internet. So you don't stop cold, fearing you have no idea what you're doing when you're looking at code. You don't want to be a geek, but you want to be able to talk to one, to a designer, or a net marketer. If you're saying yes to all of these, then this webinar series can help you. There's a lot more. There's uh, shortcuts, many things you can make the internet easier and faster for you. You know that time is more important than money, but you prefer to get both. So if you are thinking of becoming a techie, non-techie, no, non-techie ka pa rin, pero techie ka rin, uh, then join us, there's a 100% satisfaction guarantee, 30 days money back. We start on May 11, that's one, two, three days from now, and you can deposit your money by BDO or BPI, and it's really, very really, really affordable. The three webinars are only 4995 okay? So very affordable just for you. It's going to be in one day. It's going to be in three days. Start at nine o'clock. It's around nine o'clock to ten thirty p.m. And there is recording. Okay, there's a recording. So if you miss a webinar, you can access the recording. Okay. So that's my announcement. Uh, how you can be a techie even if you're still a beginner. Here's the link for you guys to visit. And we're doing this because. Um, where I'm addressing the unwritten, unwritten, you know, unwritten uh, a complaint or statement na napakadaming tao, which is, paano, paano ba ako matututo? Hindi mo ko teki, takot ako sa mouse, blah, 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 ganun, ganun. So, if you're afraid of using the computer because it might explode on you and stuff, and it's really confusing. I am a master of making things very simple because especially for me, 
Ayaw kong komplikado. Ayaw kong komplikado ang anything. Actually, anything. Sa totoo lang. I like everything to be simple. And if I can change things to be simple, it will be simple. Okay? So, ano ba nakalagyan dyan? Ano naman yung price? 4995. 4995. Point. So that's the price. 4995. Eh, dito din naman. 4995. Pareho lang naman sila. Yeah, pareho lang sila. 4995, whichever link you use. So that's my announcement for there. And coming up on um, May 20 is our workshop, the virtual careers workshop. For total year slash book set. So this is my last workshop for the year, I think. Okay. So this is when you will get yourself taught by me on how to start your virtual career, do the tutorials, and answer a lot of your questions, including an updated how to spot a scam list, how to think like a lazy person that makes that gets things done how to position yourself, create your own position, how to answer covers, how to deal with clients, how to make clients impressed with you on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, hindi, hindi impressed lang sa unahan, but on the day-to-day, -day, you transform yourself by becoming more valuable to clients on a day-to-day -day basis, hindi yung sa unahan lang para lang to get hired. And I think there's nobody who will, who's gonna teach you that in a setting like this. This is a 12-hour workshop on May 20. So 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Um, it's a unique one. It's based on years of experience of doing this workshop and doing attending workshops in other countries. So it's uh, it has a lot of ingredients that you won't find in any other places. Um, it's actually copied so the dollar by other people now nah, because it's really clever and it's only clever because it's using lots of elements copied from other workshops as well. But not just in these single workshops, many, many, many workshops I've attended in my life. I'm still learning up to today. I just came from Malaysia in a five-day workshop. So if you think 12 hours is long, try five days, not 12 hours each. That's actually what I do. So a lot of lessons I learned from those workshops is in this single workshop, the May 20 workshop. So if you're a first time you're looking for next time along, I'm telling you right now, there is no next time. Mm -mm. There's no next time. John, I'm going to focus on teaching master classes, which means um, upcoming um, March 13 is video master class. Next month, we're going to teach copywriting. Okay. And copywriting master class is so, so profitable if you know how to do it. Okay. So and they're also very expensive to, uh, to learn from other countries. So that's it. I'm looking forward to you guys learning all about that, um, the workshop. And let me just ask, does anybody, is anybody interested in the workshop? Pero gusto ng push. Gusto nyo lang ng push. A good push. I can help you. Just say you're interested. Hi, Wendell. Thank you very much for the question. Kahit ba hindi hiling pagsulat or hindi magaling mag sa pagsulat, Pwede matuto ng copyright. I actually don't advise it. Um, there's no desire to write. Therefore, you have no desire to learn grammar. I'm not kidding. Um, you're going to be terrible at copywriting. Eh, kasi ayaw mo nga gawin. Ayaw mo nga gawin outside of copywriting. Therefore, you didn't really take the time to study or perfect your grammar. Uh, so, even if you do copywriting, kung ang lalabas rin lang ang sagwa ng grammar mo, magagalit lang yung client sa'yo. Kasi mag-proofread pa siya. Oo nga, magaling ka mag-copyright, pero the grammar is terrible. Oh, may ilis lang sa'yo yan. So, I don't suggest getting into copywriting if you were, you know, you're, you're not up for writing as a topic. Okay. But thank you for the question. It will really help other people. Oh, yeah. What you can do, Wendell, is not to learn copywriting, but to learn video marketing. Okay, Video marketing is the May 13 venue uh, workshop. 
happening in Manila, you can get a video of it, you can get a recording of it, of the video marketing course in kung hindi ka maka-attend. But of course, we do encourage you to attend it uh, May 13. So that's the website uh, which I give you right now, virtualcareersacademy.com slash p slash 2017 video marketing. So it's a marketing masterclass. It's uh, 9975 and it's where, where you can learn all about video marketing. So it's not video editing. It's uh, learning how to use video para uh, actually more video design and video marketing. Instead of creating the video, you become the person who gives an input to the client on how to make the videos. The client will make the video and then you will just market it for the client. So the client, she talked about a video, Mostly, if it's faced video, like most clients like to record themselves. So, ikaw lang yung mag guide sa client kung anong lalagay niya sa video. That makes you very, very valuable para kang consultant. So, kahit palpak grammar mo dun, okay lang. Kasi, nag-iusap lang naman kayo sa chat. Okay? It's a very short. Hindi mga full sentences pag chat, di ba? So, and then you new market it, you just use the mouse. So, it's very, very good. So, Video is exploding today, but will continue to rise because of the push that Facebook is giving. If you don't, if you want to understand the impact of video, go to this website, the virtualcareersbook.com slash 2017, I'm sorry, virtualcareersacademy slash p slash 2017 video marketing. You're going to learn all about the trend of video marketing. Okay? Para alam mo na kung ka ba dyan. Now, that's May 13. If you can't go, just join this website, you get a recording of it, okay? So there is actually, um, yung mga anak ko talaga. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, just go there, okay, just go there. Video Marketing Masterclass. So these are the masterclass I said I would be focusing on not so much on the basic one, uh, the workshop one, because it's more fun and more, oh yeah, mas relevant na mag-teach ako ng mga brand new skills because uh, ang dami na natuturo ng basic, tama ba? You guys are members of other groups who teach basic stuff, and I, I know you guys take, some of the guys take the courses given by other people here. When I started about seven years ago, Wala, wala matuturo ng basic. And I had to teach people the basic stuff. And I used to teach this every two months, by the way. Talas, ano? Half day lang, pero every two months. And it progressed to a level na um, yung basic, dun, dun na, dun na, tuturoan na kayo ng ibang tao sa basic. Uh, because I'm gonna record this coming May 24. Webinar, um, webinars and live event, and then that's gonna be the basis. If you want to learn anything basic from me, just get the videos. But, but I'm gonna focus more on the master classes in depth on how to use video, how to do copywriting, how to do influence marketing, how to do autopilot incomes, practically how to do it. Because I don't teach stuff na hindi ko ginagawa. Like for right now, I'm teaching Instagram marketing. Is anybody still interested in Instagram marketing? Well, we are ongoing right now. There are recordings. So if you are um, looking for Instagram marketing, there's the website to go. You can still join us. Um, walang, walang, da, walang dahilan na, ay, nagsimula na kayo, gano'n, gano'n. Hindi naman. Kakasimula lang din ang Instagram stories nung, nung ano, August last year. So hindi ka pa talaman talaga huli. Ang importante is, you can review the lessons, but we're doing the lessons inside um the, this website and at the same time we're doing the lessons inside Instagram we are on day six so six there are 20 days we're doing it in 20 days so day six meron pwede ka pang humabol Instagram marketing really really good way to get the attention of clients why? because uso number two overloaded na ang Facebook clients are now looking at Instagram if you find yourself in a position to become an Instagram expert because I can make you one then go get that Instagram course, okay? I'm doing the Instagram while I'm teaching it. Um, 
But my advantage is uh, I used to use Snapchat last year. So Instagram stole the features of Snapchat that made it very, very popular. Um, it's so popular, Facebook got scared of Snapchat and stole everything from it. So now that Snapchat features are Instagram, my advantage na tuloy ako. Kasi I was doing Snapchat last year, which is like, I can't say that for many experts. And it's a Snapchat last year. It was a really hard profile. It was a really hard thing to study if you're not a teenager. Unfortunately for them, they're not teenagers. Ako, I am in the brain. So guess what? I was Snapchatting with teenagers. So I understood how the platform works. I even know the stuff that most people don't know because I used it <laughs> anyway daily. So you're going to learn what I learned from Snapchat that you can now use on Instagram. Because believe me, you may not know anything about Snapchat, but it's a moneymaker last year. Now Instagram has copied everything. It's Instagram is positioned to be a moneymaker this year. So you better get into that. So here are the upcoming lessons. No? So I have current lesson here. Instagram is running today, day six of 20 days. Video marketing is about to start on May 13. Basic workshop on May 20. And next month, we're gonna do copywriting. By the way, copywriting is spun to four sessions. The long one and copywriting. Four webinar, two webinars and two live events, just like the video. So, yun po ang aking announcement. I'm sorry, I can't get, uh, I cannot put Juliet. Ay, meron na pala, ayan. Just, kung, if you guys have questions to Juliet, sige. I bow now to Juliet. May tanong din si Juliet. Uh, sana mandal mo. Hello o Jonya. O Jo lang. Yes. Juliet, Hello, go. can you hear me? Anybody with questions? Go, go, go. Yes, naririnig niyo po ako. Hi. Wait. Can you hear me? Ah, okay. I you can hear me now. Salamat naman. <laughs> Questions po, ah. <laughs> Parang Oh, ayan, Juliet. Iiwan na kita sa webinar, ha? Yes, okay, po. <laughs> Kay, ikaw nang bahala. <laughs> <laughs> Balik ako na lang kayo so, mamaya. Pag my questions. Okay. Sige, everybody, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, may tanong dito. Bukod sa, meron po, sir. Bukod sa Date with Frida, meron ka pa bang ibang kinuha ng, na course kay Jomar? Wala pa so far. Yun muna, ang date with freedom. Um, from Ryan, what is your biggest challenge as a virtual professional? Um, sarili, actually yung insecurity ko pa rin. Kahit na, kahit na hanggang ngayon naman yung pinafight ko pa rin yung kaya ko namang gawin, pero... Ako mismo sa sarili ko, hindi ako naniniwala. Tapos buti na lang may mga friends ako na sinasabi, you can do this. Tapos, yun. So, yung biggest challenge ko talaga is yung stepping into new water na palagi akong, palagi akong scared. Ganun. Lalo, lalo, at syempre wala naman akong office mate na parang mag a sa akin. Tapos, Buti may mga accountability partners, may mga people na nagkikare. Nagsasabi, you can do this. Tapos yun. Yun yung biggest challenge ko. Thank you, Ryan, sa question. Saan ka kumuha ng mga people who will care? Nabibili ba yun? <laughs> Sir, yung mga people talaga na hanggang ngayon meron pa rin ay yung mga taong nakilala ko doon sa date with freedom na kinuha ko last 2016. Sina, naging friend ko na din si na Miss Ann, si na Miss Ninya, sila talaga yung nag a sa akin. Tapos, ang madami sa groups, kahit nung nag-attend ako ng live seminar, marami din akong na-meet doon ng mga tao. Yun. Silang mga taong... So, may benefit pala sa akin during my insecurity moments. Sir? Yes, of course. Sobra. Ang, ang daming benefit. Yeah. 
Hello. Um, question from yes, Po. Can you still hear me? Yep, meron na ulit. Yes, Po. Oo, oh, oh, okay. Ay, naririnig po ng, ng participants. Ayan. Merong question dito for a while. From Anne, kamusta pagtanggap ng family mo sa new work mo? Ang family ko, sobrang saya. <laughs> sobrang saya nila. Tapos, alam naman na dito sa QC, medyo may na pa yung interconnection ko. Pero sa amin talaga, naka-broadband lang kami ng globe. Walang ibang line. Tapos, ayaw nila akong pabalikin dito kahit na isang buwan lang naman ako ganyan or kaya two months. Gusto nila palagi ako nandun sa bahay namin. Sobrang, sobrang saya lang. Parang pag maisip lang namin mag-outing, mag-outing, kain. Kasi kasama ko sila, parang wala. Pera, pera lang naman yun. Pero pag yung bonding ng family, sobrang, sobrang mahalaga sa akin. Kaya, pa sobrang saya ng family ko. Sorry ah, Juliet. Yes. Paano naniwala ang yes, family po. ko? Kaya ka. e nasa bahay ka lang. Nakumiki. <laughs> ano sir? Kasi ako yung breadwinner ng family. So alam na may binibigay ako. <laughs> Tapos, na-meet na nila sir yung aking client, si Sam. Ay, sorry. <laughs> Nasabi ko. Ayan, hindi naman. Wala naman apelyedo, sorry. Ah. Asanay lang kasi ako kasi close kami. Ano, na-meet nila yung, oh, may meeting kami ni ganito, ni client ko. Alam nila. Kaya, alam nilang nag-work ako. Ano na na meet pumunta sa Pilipinas client mo? Anong <laughs> Hindi po. Every Monday at Friday may meeting kami ng client ko. Kumustahan lang tapos planning, planning so may isang oras. Tapos pag nasa bahay ako, maingay kasi sa amin, may baby yung kapatid ko. Tapos yan ganyan. Tapos yung client ko sobrang sobrang passionate kasi niya sa lalo sa mga tao kasi yun yung trabaho namin actually we are a yung sa nas charity charity type yung aming trabaho tapos ganyan so kinikilala niya yung family ko ganyan tapos sabi ko si father nandiyan Naki hindi naman sila nag-usap pero parang alam niya kung sino si father ko sino si mother ko ganyan tapos yung parents ko din nakikita din nila si Sam ay so ano ba yan palagi akong nagkakamali nakikita nila yung client ko ano ba yan ayun Namimit, nakikilala nila online. Bekin mo si Samuel B pala. Okay. Oo, oh, oh, si Samuel B. <laughs> Sana nila ako close kasi. Ay, pa pang nag-uusap. Ah, si ano, ganyan. Ayun. Ganun ang pagtanggap ng family ko. Merong question si Cheryl. Ano yung second learning mo as VA4? Naku, sorry mi Cheryl, ah. Yun po ay for... Nakorek ko siya. Seven months po yun. Ang second learning ko was... Ano ba yung sinulat ko doon? You cannot, ang second learning ko was, you cannot select the client that will hire you, at least sa mga first years mo sa pagiging VA, but you can always select the client whom you will stick with. So pagka abusive si client, or hindi ka nirespeto ni client, o kaya ay somehow nabibend niya yung mga paniniwala mo or your values for yourself. Um, those, I think, are red flag sa, sa, sa isang client. And then, you have the choice always to, you know, to let go, ganyan. And then, to look for a client who will value you, who will respect you. Yun, yun, yun yung learnings ko. For my seven months, sorry. Ayan. Mm, I hope okay yon. Another question. Pwede pa, po, pwede pa po ba kayong maging accountability partner? Oo. Kaya matakot ka. <laughs> Medyo ano. Dahil ganyan ako. Oo. Message ka sa akin sa Facebook. And HP message ka saan sa Facebook. Tapos... Um, from Cloud Sky, may I know your website link, please? Thank you. Ita type ko. Um, Juliet S. Okay. 
Ayan, yung webs ah, sorry, naka-private. Ayan, yung website ko, uh, julietcasting.com. Um, question from Tina, naka.com yung website mo, paano mo ginawa? Bumili ako ng domain name na julietcasting.com. Um, Miss Tina, mayroong dalawang webinar si Sir Jomar about creating the website. Um, siguro si, si Nazak, meron silang link nung, nung tutorials na yon on how to create the, yung website. Par, yung nakajulietcasting.com ako, binili ko po yung domain name na yun. Ay, sorry uh, na yung link ako. Makain ako. <laughs> okay lang yung po. Ni, yogurt po, yogurt. Yung <laughs> yes. paano gumawa ng sariling website na .com, including yung panimula ng self-posted WordPress, is in virtualcareersbook.com slash hosted wordpress. Ayan. Slash hosted wordpress. Ayan. Wala akong binibili dyan. Yan po yung mm -mm. tutorial. Yes, yan yung tutorial. Ayan. Bibili kayo ng .com nyo, pero hindi bibili sa akin. Kayo mm -hmm. bibili sa, sa ibang kumpanya. Bottom line is, if you, para maging impress si client sa inyo, dapat self-hosted ang wordpress mo. Ituro din po yan sa, 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 sa webinar, ah, sa, ano, sa workshop, ah, pati sa libro. Mm -hmm. yep. So, pero yung step by step, mahirap gawin sa libro, so yan. And yung yes. That you need to check. Libre po yan yung, yung video na yan, na step by step. Tapos question from Rai. Um, what would be your advice to aspiring VAs na magsasubmit pa lang ng resumes to prospective clients? Um, never. <laughs> this overrated ulit to, but I would say never give up. Um, palagi kong tinatanong to when, when in my low moments, nung dating nag-a-apply nag din ako, tas parang hindi, bakit kaya hindi ako mag magkaroon ng client? Tapos, ang advice sa akin nung successful VA ni Sir Jomar, si Miss Nina Mendoza, sabi niya, sanayin mo ang sarili mo um, mag-fail at mag-desensitize sa, sa failure, tapos apply lang ng apply. Never give up talaga. Because it will come to you. <laughs> Kahit cliche siya, pero it will come to you. VA is currently doing their tutorials. For me, personally, mag-concentrate mo na kayo sa tutorials pag hindi pa siya tapos. Bago kayo mag-apply o kaya bago kayo gumawa ng website. Pag nandyan na yung tutorials na sampo, kahit hindi, hindi naman kailangan perfect, basta nandyan na siya, then you can create the website, gumawa kayo ng yung yung online portfolio nyo na tapos i-load mo doon yung lahat ng tutorials mo and then done you can proceed with applying that's for me <laughs> ayan Sab sabi ni April when i'm doing my assignments my mother would not believe me that it's in preparation for working online tama yan miss april tapos ako sa dubai <coughs> kasi binili ko siya ng april nandun pa ako sa dubai tapos napakanega nung mga kasama ko sa bahay sabi na genius daw ako kasi pag uwi ko ng work ng alas 7 to 8 ng gabi syempre kakain tapos mag-aaral na ako ang haba kasi nung date with freedom na downloadable eh. kasi 9 days talaga siya na recorded na uh, sorry, three days na recorded live from morning up to evening tapos the rest are webinars so ang haba talaga niya tapos uh, ganyan din, ganyan, ganyan din nakaka-discourage din minsan pero 
ako kasi pagkabibili ako ng course, kinukonsume ko talaga siya. Tapos pagka hindi ko siya gusto, yun, niiwanan ko. Pero gusto ko yung nakukuha kong values dun sa course. Kaya ginagawa ko siya kahit na yung nasa paligid ko sinasabihan nila akong ganun na medyo, med, medyo nega. Ganyan. Ayun po, Miss April. Kaya push ka lang ng push. From Cheryl, how to conquer my fear as newbie when applying gig online? Um, isa lang naiisip ko, mag-apply ka lang ng mag-apply. This is from me, Sir Jomar probably has, sa sobrang dami na experience niya, marami siyang ma ma masabi. But for me, hindi na... Ewan ko kung masasabi mo siyang face your fear, pero apply ka lang ng apply, tapos syempre may magre-reject sa'yo. Apply pa rin ng apply, ganyan. And then masasanay kang mag-apply, tapos kung may mga interviews ka, tapos hindi ka pa rin tinanggap, masasanay ka kung paano humarap sa client. Later on, you will find your time. And and I know na when you will not stop learning, um, you will have yours that that is meant for you. Ayun, wala na pong question, Sir Jomar. Salamat lahat. Salamat, uh, Juliet. Wala ka akong makitang questions. Ako ba naghahanap ng question? But anyway. <laughs> Good night na po. Uh, uh -oh. Thank you for joining us in webinar. Uh, este, Zoom. Isipin ko pa kung anong gagawin namin sa susunod na webinars. Basta, baka, baka sa Facebook na lang. Do that. Okay. Find a way. Thank you so much, uh, Juliet, sharing your life again. So, nakadala kong webinar yes, ka na. Yes, Nakadala kong webinar ka na. Opo. So, isipin yes, mo po. Yes, Last December yung about so FW. Isipin nyo mabuti. Kung gusto nyo kunin yung Date with Freedom, pwede nyo naman kunin. Punta kayo sa datewithfreedom.com. Pero sa totoo lang, ang updated version ng Date with Freedom, ulitin ko ha, ay yung workshop this coming May 20. Okay? Yun po yung up-to-date version. If you're looking for, uh, ah, kasi gusto ko yun, yun yung kinuha ni ano. Yun din yun po, yun din yun. Nga lang, mas bago. Now, yung Date with Freedom, may pagkakaiba siya for those of you curious and listening to the recording. May pagkakaiba siya doon sa workshop. Ask me what. What? <laughs> Ang Gate with Freedom, isang buong araw niya, isang buong araw ha, ang nagsasalita ibang tao. Di ba? <laughs> Ilan ang guest ko doon? Mm -hmm. Yes 20 po. ata ang guest ko. 20. 20 ang guest ko. Oo. Freedom. Yung iba panel discussion, yung iba solo talks, Yun yung Date with Freedom. Sa workshop, it's basically Jomar plus four other people. So, mga five lang kami. Pero ganun din kahaba. Actually, mas mahaba pa nga yun. So, totoo siya, mas mahaba yung workshop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, Date with Freedom is uh, literally something you can consider a seminar. Okay? So, pakisabi, Date with Freedom seminar. Pero ang workshop... The only seminar part are the webinars. Meron, meron tayong actual hands-on, hindi computer-based ang hands-on. Meron tayong actual hands-on dun sa 12 hours na live event. So it, it's not a seminar set, set up. It's a hands-on setup. Okay, there is also going to be a live date with freedom at the end of the year, sa so October. Pero yun, one day na lang yun. Okay, this is one day na around 20 speakers. Okay. So, the Date with Freedom this coming October, it's not a basic course. Okay, it's not. It's a, a course to address fears, to learn new skills, to meet new people. Then you get a basic course. You want to get a basic course, 
startup course, beginner's course, newbie course, that would be the workshop this May 12th. And para mas sweeten yung deal, I don't know if anybody's interested in joining, I'm gonna sweeten the deal for hanggang, let me just check it out, May 16th. Okay ba yan? May 17th na lang. Kaya ito type. Juliet, hi type. So hindi ko yung ano mo. Ay, malapit yes, na pala. Po. Wala na tayong masyadong choice. May 17, you have to join before May 7. Ah, hindi pala pwede. Okay, here's the sweet deal sweetener. Everybody type, sweeten it. Um, if you join before Wednesday, today's Monday, right? Join before Wednesday, you get all the three... Ano pangalan ng baby? All the three non-techie webinars for free. Now, the non-techie webinars are worth 5,000 pesos. The workshop is probably equal to that. So, essentially, nilibre ko na yung webinar na non-techie. You have to join before Wednesday, well, honor before Wednesday. That's the, the simple one. Okay? Siyempre may dahilan. Bakit, bakit ko gusto? Bakit ko sinuitin? Ay, libre na yung non-techie webinars. Oo naman, libre na. Because... I really prefer to do webinars na maraming tao. Nalulungkot ako pag lima lang sila, pito lang sila, apat lang sila, the rest hindi sila nag attend kasi recording lang sila. So, to make sure that lots of people attend the Wednesday webinar, you must sign up to the workshop before Wednesday evening. Okay? Para makasama ka sa live. Kasi sa May, to, May 11 na eh. May 11 na po. Kailan ba May 11? Okay. So Thursday na yon. So dapat you ano, okay? Dapat you join the workshop by oh. Wednesday. All right? By Wednesday, May 10. Para malibre ka sa uh, non-techy webinars. Okay, docs? That's all I got today. Thank you so much, Juliet, and to everyone who stayed with us here in Zoom. God bless. Thank, thank you, Paul. Good night. Good night.